is family, community, music. It's beyond excitement. And it's lively. Wonderful festival, full of amazing people and amazing musicians. And you couldn't pick a better place to do this festival here in Westport in County Mayo. My name is Uri Cohen and I'm the founder and producer of the Westport Folk and Bluegrass Festival here in Westport County Mayo. I started the Bluegrass Festival in 2007. At the time I was doing small gigs around Westport and I had the dream to do a slightly bigger gig. And I decided I'm going to do my own little last walls based on the famous the band last walls. But I didn't know what the music is. And someone said, it's called bluegrass. I said, I don't know what it is, but let's do it. And there it was. I created my own bluegrass festival. My vision was always to do it for the town. It was about showcasing Westport to the world, showcasing bluegrass music to Westport, and mainly that the people of Westport and the businesses in Westport will have something to celebrate. It's by us for the town and and it's Westport, you know, it's, it's, it's people love it, like people love to come here, you know? and it's what it's all about. We grew it, not necessarily by size, but by popularity and by the understanding around the town and by our own understanding of how to run a festival. I think we got it right, but it took a long time and a lot of money, which is not something I like to talk about. I'm not considering myself to be some sort of a, you know, righteous man to spend all my money of making my dream come true. I didn't have to do it, but I did it. And particularly thank to my family that helped me. And um, yeah, we're here. <laughs> Bluegrass community of Ireland, there were the words start to kind of trickle that there's someone in Ireland that no one knew of is going to do a new bluegrass festival, and they used to have their own few, one in Oma up the north, in Athai, in uh, Dunmore East, in uh, Longford, and the bluegrass community or family of Ireland, they just want, they just wondered. What's happening? How come Westport all of a sudden became a part of it? And they all came. And they all came again. And they all came again. 
and they're still here with us. And that's how the festival was born and that's why the festival is still alive. Every year we do two workshops. So this year it was a mandolin workshop. And the mandolin workshop came out of um, an, an endorsement we received from the number one mandolin website in the world called Mandolin Cafe, uh, which very kindly decided to accept to endorse our festival. So we decided this year to do a mandolin workshop. Uh, and then I, for many years, wanted to add like an educational side to the festival. So we had here a, a band from Kentucky called the Corn Maze String Band. And Carla Gover, the kind of leading person in the band, I wanted her to, to do some sort of a dance workshop. And then I said, how about we'll get an Irish dancer? And Frida suggested a lady by the name of Bernadette Nigawan, who He's a teacher as well, fiddle player, a dancer, and the two of them created themselves. We just gave them the space and they created a concert of this kind of thing. One will dance, one will explain why do they do it on this rhythm or the other, what, you know, why is it done in Appalachia this way, even though it originally came from Ireland, which was done another way. And that is definitely going to be a highlight of the festival. Daddy, won't you take me back to Muhlenberg County, down by the Green River, where paradise lay? I'm sorry, my son, but you're too late in asking. Mr. Peabody's cold train is hauled. But I think that we, the fact that we brought an Irish element into the festival is super important. And obviously we couldn't do it without Frida, who, who brought that and encouraged us to do it more and more. Okay, well, it's Misha Frida Hatton. I just tell my Marval and Christa, Christian the Fela and Shaw the Fela, Joel Tira, I just blew breath, Barna Mart. Tan Ela Shaw, a goal on Yart, on Yart. I guess there's no one here, Fela, her big wing, Ravlian and Lewis. So Tom and Jarash, that she ain't a cool bio, a call. Bonnie Kjol, that's America, that's an Orip, that's an Gjarma, and I could see the Shedem Kjol Tira at all. Twin of us Quimshil, the brass, and the Tehatarna, I guess it's Intach. The Kjol Tari, I guess mask on, I guess Rowan the Intach, the Kjol America, and the Kjol Bluegrass, I guess Ernoi, or Gwid Kjol Hain and Nacht. When I started that festival, there was four major, maybe five major bluegrass festivals in the country. I kind of modeled my vision of the festival and a Thai bluegrass festival, which was run, it was the first and longest run bluegrass festival in the country. But we, but we took it to a different level. We created a festival that promoted bluegrass music and not necessarily a bluegrass festival. It's the understanding of where fun is here with bluegrass music, not just in Westport, all bluegrass uh, events. Everybody want to come and see, and they want to see how this man played a fiddle and what, and how can I do it better, and or how can I do it as good? And everybody are in this kind of idea that this is this is fun. Like I want a bit of this and. I think it's very, very inspiring. The Westport Folk and Bluegrass Festival was my dream. The committee, they make my dream come true. And once I, all I need to do is allow them to do that. 
and accept the fact that they tell me, Uri, you went too far or you didn't go far enough. And I think that as a producer, if you can take that pause and, and, and look back and let people guide you and not just be kind of, I know what I'm doing is right, then you're on a the, on the winner. And, and I hope that, that I do that. But definitely, we're moving, we're moving, and, and we have a long way to go yet, like, but we're definitely on the right track. The festival will continue. The formula is here in the town. We're not doing an event here that it's about being profitable or, you know, it's about the town, it's about them, as I always say, it's of the people, from the people, and for the people. How many people can say that they live in the dream? And I do, and it's super cool. And we're Chicago. <laughs> <laughs> Are we saying and or just and we're from Chicago? Yeah, we're from the we're chi from Chicago. Okay. We got yeah, the yeah. jumper okay. cable. We have the jumper we're cables from Czechia. Yeah. Right? Perfect. So who are you guys bringing from? We are the jumper cables from Czechia. Who you are and why are you from? Slow County Stumblers from California. California. <laughs> 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 I'm Alyssa. I'm Fred. I'm Cody. And uh, we're still house junkies from Durango, Colorado. Is this is your first time in Westport, Ireland? Sure is. This is our first time in Ireland, period. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, you kind of accumulate all of the right people in town, and then just all kinds of unexpected magic starts to happen. So, I don't know, playing, playing Bill Monroe tunes on the accordion and, and Matt Malloy's bar. I mean, that wasn't on my bucket list, but I think it should have been. <laughs> Westport is a great town, absolutely great. Everything just seems to be condensed into one large block. So there's a, a lot of music here. When you guys come back to Westport? Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'd say yeah. we'll be here as often yeah. as we can, just, yeah. just for the crack. <laughs>